Cantor. Hayes in. There's a chance, all right. There's a try from the chance. Again. They go close. Isaac Briggs. It's the Briggs Is show. he going to get it down? He's got made it. the moment his own. He's converted. The Scorpions have come back and knocked off. The defending premiers of 2015. The final score, the Scorpions 26, Lakes 24. Josh Schmiedel joins me on the show. Hello, Josh. Good, mate. Mate, that microphone, I'll just get you to hold it up a bit. But, mate, who do you like? Um, we'll go through the tips first of all. Maitland are playing south. South, of course, in second spot. Well, I think Maitland, they're due for a win, obviously, and they've always yeah. been in there every single game that they play. They've only just been sort of losing and yeah. they're winning at half time or lose it or come back. But just think going into semi finals football, you've got to pick South leading yeah. into there. Also going for a minor premiership with us, same yeah. as West. So you think. With that on the line, they'd have to win there. Another good game on the weekend will be Curry up against Central. A lot for Curry to play for, I guess. Yeah, well, they're still they're only just hanging in on that top yeah. five position at the moment, and they're going to want to be there. I think. Then again, going into semi-finals, they need they need yeah. to win that game, and they probably need a good win if it comes out of four and against or anything like that. So, I'll be picking Curry. Mate, who do you like? West versus uh, Cessnock, the Goannas. I'd like Cessnock to win the game. <laughs> would help us out a lot, but yeah, yeah. West or West, and they're just going to be too structured, and I think too strong around their forwards. Yeah, for where, sure. Where we're at the moment, and I think they'll get the win there. Mate, as we mentioned on Saturday, it's Old Boys Day. It's you guys' last game in 2016 here in the preliminary rounds anyway. Uh, what's it mean to be a, a scorp on Old Boys Day? Oh, it's a huge thing. Like, they're, they're the games you want to play for, and you don't want to be clapping our hill on Old Boys Day yeah. for a loss, so... We want to we want to win and we want to put it over Lakes. So I think last year, as I said before, when I've spoken to you, they beat us four times last year. This yeah. time we've had a draw and a win, and yeah. we want to finish them off with another win. Man, it goes without saying, it's a big game for you guys. Yeah, it's a huge game. Like we're looking at this minor premiership, and it's the first one our club's yeah. ever going to have. Well, not ever going to have, but it's the first one they, they have never had one. So, and. Yeah, it's a huge game. If we, we if we lose this and we've got the potential of losing next week, we can go anywhere from first to fourth. So yeah, it's incredible, uh, isn't it? Uh, um, it's done foreign such territory. A tight, tight comp, but we win this, we're another step closer to getting that minor premiership and yeah. getting that home game off into the semis. Yeah, which is what we want. And I guess you know anyone in that top five can actually win the comp. Yeah, that's it. Like it's being just... where we are, well, we've got six teams that are in the running for the top five at the moment, and yeah. I think everyone's beat everyone or lost to someone or had yeah. a draw. So. <laughs> It's all been in the mix. So yeah. well, open grade. They've also got a chance to be uh, minor premiers this year as yeah, well. Well, they're sitting in second spot. They were first there for one week and they lost the one game, which put yeah, them right. over third, I think. And then they beat Maitland to put them back in the second. So they're yeah. also going for the minor premiers. And our reserve grade, they've just hit their straps now. They've yeah. put themselves up to fourth and they've got the potential of second and third if they can win the next two. So yeah. the club's going strong in the, in the top grades. Mate, it's all guns blazing yeah. out here. Hey? Yeah, Fantastic. Uh, good. And uh, of course, you know, we don't want to look too far into the <laughs> distance but I mean you've got a good playing group here and it would be good to keep this playing group going forward for next year and build that continuity. Yeah well I think that's what we've had to do each year is we've had a few players come in, a few leave and a few come yep. in. If we can obviously what we're doing at the moment's working so if we can keep the nucleus of this side going into yeah. the future then hopefully we'll be here every year. Mate Adam Betridge, top job here at the club? Yeah unbelievable like He's probably one of the smartest coaches I've had to deal with and he's helped my game a lot. Like, I've yeah. changed my game this year a lot. I'm a bit more structured with how yeah. I play and Ads is very clinical with everything he does. And yeah. very, you know, We look at stat, like all the stats and we look at everything. It looks at every little aspect of the game, which is obviously helping us. Yeah. Simon Allen, um, he's out for the year, someone yeah, mentioned. He oh. broke his arm and yeah. didn't realise he spoke to the trainers and they didn't realise he's broken. He's gone back out there last week. Yeah during the game and I think I don't know if he's made it worse but yeah, yeah he'll be gone for the season there which is a huge loss for us because he yeah. was playing 80 minutes so there was, it'll change our rotations yeah. around a lot but, but you got the depth to cover we've got it. that depth that we can yeah. cover it so fantastic mate be, well be. mate thanks very much for coming on the show all the best on Sunday and we'll catch up with you later Josh Schmiedel everybody we'll take our final break and come back with a few more interviews it's game day here at Lyle Peacock Field <laughs>